1875, Richard Dalgleish purchased a farm at Holwell and the Holwell Iron Company was founded. In 1881, the first furnaces were commissioned and then later on in 1904, two new couplers were built. Iron ore from the nearby quarry was taken by rail to the furnaces. More investment was secured and two new couplers were installed. In 1918, the company was merged with Stanton Ironworks Company. The outbreak of World War II meant that most of the male workforce was conscripted into the military. Women then took over these roles. Holwell played a crucial part in the war effort by manufacturing bomb casings and other essential parts. In 1947, Stanton and Staveley were bought out by Stewarts and Lloyds. During the 1950s, the introduction of the continuous casting process increased production capacity. In 1962, the blast furnishes were demolished and the quarry closed. With the cessation of iron making, Holwell became a foundry. In 1967, Stuart and Lloyds were taken over by British Steel. Holwell's new foundry was commissioned in April 1969 and was the very best in modern foundry technology. In 1975, Holwell celebrated its centenary year. It then employed 1,150 people and produced a wide range of products, including crankshafts, castings for marine engines and castings for use in steelworks. In 1985, Holwell was sold once again to its current owners, Sangaban. Due to increasing financial pressures, a major rationalisation of the site was undertaken and its product range limited to ductile iron access covers and grates. Today, Holwell is only one of a few foundries still in production in the UK. It supplies products to customers around the globe and is the market leader in access covers. Howell has a rich history of generations of families working in the foundry. Some employees here today can trace their relatives working at Howell as far back as 1904. It is a tradition we are very proud of and we spoke to some of them about their memories of Howell. Hi, my name is Ian Newham. I uh, came up to Holwell in 1976 after I came out of the Royal Navy and I left uh, 18 months ago after serving 41 and a half years, mm -hmm. 41 and a half years, yeah. Uh, up on the football ground we used to have, uh, what would you call them, family days, uh, donkey derbies, uh, bonfire nights, big with the sports, we used to play a lot of sports. Into, into work sports, football, cricket, darts, but obviously as the numbers have declined over the years, so did the sports, unfortunately. Uh, I played pole wall when I first came out of the Navy, which was then sponsored by the uh, works, but uh, then that became uh, isolated as certain things were sold off. But uh, no, in general, it was a good time. I think holidays were good, certain, certainly, certainly a decent amount of holidays compared to a lot of yeah, people. Yeah. And like I say, in comparison to a lot of places, the money was quite good as well. Hi, I'm Michael Ewan. I worked at Hull for 46 years and my main occupation was the production planner for the KW. I, I used to do, uh, work out the programme that they used to cast uh, so we could get items in stock and to the customer at the required time. Uh, family connection, my brother said my dad was here, his dad was here when I started. I had four uncles here, our mother came here for a bit, my brother was here. My son is now here, my son-in-law is now here, <laughs> and uh, on my wife's side, her family were here. It's a very, very big family connection for Holwell. I'm Stephen Hebb. Uh, I worked for Holwell many years ago. My uh, great-granddad worked for 49 years on the quarries. Uh, my granddad, he worked 49 years actually in the carpentry department. My dad was a, a fitter. 37 years and my uncle Pete he was there for 22 years as an electrician um, me as I do still work here now and again 
My brother works here as a contractor and my two nephews. My cousin David, he still works here, employed by Harwell. And uh, very happy times here with some very good social events up at the Stoot and football and paintballing and stuff like that. I'm Niven Keatley, I used to work here. I started in 1969 and finished 1994. I worked all the time in the blacksmiths where I served my apprenticeship. I've got my brother here, two sons, hopefully the grandsons, <laughs> <laughs> um, my dad, my uncles, my great granddad, they all started work here. Um, a sporting moment that I remember, we used to have internal darts competitions between the, each department. I was drafted in for a reserve for the darts team. Our darts team went on, went on and won it and I never threw a dart through all the competition, but got a medal. <laughs> Ninety-eight percent of our waste is now recycled, and all our products here at Holwell are one hundred percent recyclable. We are extremely proud of our CMARS Gold Award for reducing carbon emissions, and are committed to reducing emissions by a further fifteen percent by two thousand and twenty-five. Holwell draws its water from an outside reservoir and then recycles and returns it. We currently produce more than 300 different products to suit a wide variety of applications and uses to be distributed around the world. SG Palm uh, are a sole supplier of ironwork to us. Another reason why we want to maintain and enhance that relationship. Um, we have mentioned previously we have the new product development meeting any point in, in the proceedings whereby we need assistance from SG Palm, they're, they're there and you can't do enough to support. Um, and SG, SG Palm have pro proven time and time again to be there to support us. We're not having failures, and we haven't had any failures on Aquamax even before we, had, uh, we put the Install Plus in. I've not had a failure on a, a shall we say, a, pang, a, a PAM product for seven years. But we know in good conscience that we're doing the best we can for, our, for the people of Wakefield by installing a, a, a product that we know is not going to fail. Here at Holwell we encourage all our staff to further develop their skills to advance their careers. Hi, I'm uh, Sean Nurm. I've been with the company now for uh, on and off about 15 years and I started off taking samples of the iron and now I'm a KW and Autoport department leader. I'm uh, Phil Sykes, I've been here at Holwell for seven years. I work as an electrician within the maintenance department. Hello, my name is Lisa Cooper. I worked on site at Holwell for 12 years as a contractor and then I became the engineering planner in the maintenance department about a year ago. Hi, my name is Curtis Edwards. I've worked at Holwell for four years now and I've been working in the maintenance department as an electrical apprentice, hoping to come my, my time in the next few months. Hello, my name is Paul O'Grader. I'm a performance manager at Holwell. I've been here nearly four years. I started as a team leader, worked my way up to department leader, and I'm now a performance manager. Hi, my name's Billy. Uh, I've been at Holwell for six years nearly now. I started off as a fettler, then went to assembly, forklift truck and I'm now a whip coordinator. My name is Kevin, uh, I've been at Holwell for uh, 11 months now. Uh, I started as a control systems engineer and uh, I'm still a control systems engineer. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alan. I worked at Holwell for over five years. I started at finishing, 
on takeoff belt. Now I'm a team leader on the outer port area. Hi, my name is Peter Palmer. I've been with Sanger Brand for about two years. I'm currently working in the metallurgical laboratory as a lab technician, and I'm going to be doing a design or mechanical design apprenticeship. Hi, I'm Harry Young. I've been at Hover for 40 years now. Started off on the core shop, moved my way through the knockout, and had about 30 years on the Q-Plows, and now I'm a product assessor. My name's Ryan Hanney. Um, I've been at Holwell for approximately seven months, um, and the position I hold is reliability manager. Hi, my name's Pete Flint. I've been here at Holwell for 15 years now. I started off in the finishing end for a couple of years, become a team leader. I've slowly worked my way through the plant, and now I have a role within the uh, health and safety team. My name is Alistair Carroll. I'm working in Hallwell since last year, so a year and three months, and uh, I'm working as a process engineer. In addition to our impressive employee development, we are a world market leader in product development. The castings produced here at Hallwell have changed over the years. We have come a long way from making pipes and train brake blocks and now specialise in access covers and grates. We are always collaborating with our customers and partners to understand their changing needs. We can now customise castings with company logos and they are all proudly branded Made in the UK. What is the Horizon project? It's a ductile iron solution with the added benefit of an assist lift feature offering fast and safe cover operation. This is a huge opportunity worth an estimated £6.3 million in the near future. We are working harder than ever before to show our customers our commitment to good products and service by encouraging them to visit our site and experience firsthand the thrill of pouring molten metal.